Welcome to The Hollywood Scholar. I'm Jed Morgan, and I just got out of the theater for Spider-Man No Way Home. So raw reaction right out of the theater. And I gotta say, it was pretty great. Uh, and that may just be the lens of bad Marvel for a year. And it may just be like a, a drought situation where the first water you find seems great an oasis, to say the least. But I quite enjoyed it. There was a lot of good story moments in it. It wasn't intelligently written per se, like it wasn't a complicated movie. It was very straightforward, and I think that's exactly what Marvel needed with how much fans have been hating what's coming, uh, what's come out the last year, especially. They needed to go back to the basics. Simple story, fan service, big moments, high emotions, and that's exactly what this is. Just pure energy pure lightning in a bottle it was great one of the best marvel movies since endgame i know a lot of people uh don't look fondly back on that movie but i still do so i think it was the best marvel movie since endgame quite easily so looking forward to see what this uh what comes after it set up quite a bit it referenced quite a bit my biggest problem with the movie is there's a big twist ending that i won't go into that has a lot of repercussions for a lot of people besides spider-man and they don't even reference the sacrifice that these other characters are making and they won't have an opportunity to reference this again. I won't go into more detail, but it just felt, it felt like a cliffhanger that we'll never get the answer to. And I think that was a real misstep and it could have easily been fixed just with the basic conversation, just basic like, hey, are you okay with this? that line alone would have at least mentioned that it wasn't just about Peter Parker, uh, Tom Holland, and uh, making the sacrifice. So other than that, it was pretty great, pretty high action, really quite enjoyed it. I'd say an eight out of 10, simple movie, but heartfelt. And that's the thing that Hollywood doesn't give us anymore is heart and characters with flaws. And that was great to see Tom Holland has flaws. And that's what made him a compelling character is him overcoming those flaws as the spider-man of past have done and it's really nice to see the franchise move forward in a better direction let's see how long it'll last spider-man is their main product so i doubt they wanted to infect it with woke politics straight out of the gate maybe they'll ease into it in the sequels that have been announced for tom holland but as of right now spider-man is doing good Spider-Man is doing really good and he's still one of the most valuable properties in the world and I don't see that changing anytime soon especially after this home run is it a home run at any time in another year would it be a home run I still think so so you should all go see Spider-Man No Way Home and I will see you guys on the next video anon